Hey guys, in the following tutorial we will show you how to switch from the classic theme they currently have to our newest Flex theme called Mono. For this process we will need a couple of things. First one will be the Flex block. Most of you use it already on your website because you tried to design a block on your own or you tried to recreate a block from different theme and have it available for your website. In case you don't have it, you can easily get the plugin by going to our page plathemes.com slash flex block and just get the plugin by pressing on this button. The second plugin we will need is Flow Launch, which we will use in order to create a clone mode of your current website, where you'll be able to work with the new theme while keeping your current website live and available for browsing. You can also get the plugin from our page, in case you don't have it, plathemes.com slash flow launch, and just press here on the button to save the plugin on your computer. And last thing that you will need is the theme itself, which you will be able to get it from your Flothemes account once you've purchased it. Since you have those three things ready, we can get started with the transition. So first of all, you'll have to go into the dashboard of your website and then go to the plugins section. I already have Flexblock and Flow Launch installed in case you do not have them. Installed, just go to add new here, upload plugin, and then just choose the files they saved previously from our pages. Once you've installed both of them, go back to install plugins and then activate flow launch. And then you'll have to go here and you can start the cloning process. First you'll have to go through a compatibility check. If it says it's successfully you can proceed to the backup step. So Flowlaunch allows you to create a backup of your database. Uh, it's needed to have one in case something goes wrong and you'll be able to restore back to a working copy of your website data. So you can just download it from here by pressing on this button and then proceed to the next step. Press on create clone mode. And once the process will finish, uh, you'll have to re-log again to your website. You'll notice right away that uh, the color of the dashboard changed. That means that you are in the clone mode right now. So any changes that you make here won't affect your current site unless you are deleting pages, images, uh, plugins, things like that. Other than that, any other changes that you do to the website will not affect your current live site. And make sure that if you add new content to the website, add it on both on clone mode and on your on your live site because uh, once the clone mode was initiated, the content sync will not work anymore. So you'll have to manually add the new content over to the new site as well. So once you're here, the next step would be to upload the theme. So to do that, you'd have to go to the appearance section, themes, and then activate the mono theme. After that, you have to go back to plugins and activate flex block in case it's not activated. Once you do so, there will be a new tab that will show in your dashboard called flex admin. This will be an important part of working with mono. Once you press on that, it will direct you to your account section. So right now I don't have any key added in here. You'll have to add your own order key in this section. And press on update. And once you've done that, you'll have to click on start data sync uh, in order to refresh your StyleKit library and get the latest StyleKit updates and see your new purchases. Once you've done so in the StyleKit section, uh, you'll be able to explore all the available StyleKits. 
when you go to the purchase tab, you'll be able to see which style kits you have available at the moment. For me, I have Fiji and then Mono, which is the global style kit currently enabled. The one that's installed at the moment, it's Mono. And here you can find your custom style kits. You can create your own custom style kit as well, if you want to. So here you choose which style kit you want applied globally. If you want Fiji, all you have to do is click on it. Here you'll see a small overview of the style kit itself and the 20 unique blocks that are made within Flex that you can use. So if you want to make Fiji the global layout, all you have to do is just press on install and apply, and you'll rewrite your global style kit. And now Fiji 2 will be your global style kit. You can also choose a style kit for free. And in order to do that, all you have to do is just go to Explore tab, and then just select the one that you want to use. For example, Lovely. It will say that you can install one for free. Uh, once you choose the one that you want to install, uh, you won't be able to change uh, this pick. So make sure that you choose wisely the one that you want to use. And then if you go here, you'll be able to edit the typography and the colors that the style kit is using. So here you'll have all the fonts. Here you'll have the colors. And you can make changes to them if you want to. Just click on the font you want to change. You can change the typeface, you can change the font size, letter spacing, line height, the letter case, and you can change that for mobile as well. In case you decide you want to switch to a different style kit, all you have to do is just go here, go to your purchase tab, and then select the other style kit available. And then just apply. But yeah, that would be pretty much it for right now. In the next video, we will go more into details on how to work with the new style kit and how to implement the new blocks as well on the page. And we will show you kind of all the settings that you need to know in order to help you easier to rebuild your website with Mono or with the style kit that you have picked.